I'm now in my final semester of a two-year graduate program for medical illustration at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I filmed my first one of these around October of 2020, and the video was really chaotic because, well, that's how my brain felt at the time. We were unhappily locked in our rooms on Zoom, reading headlines about race riots, shootings, certain politicians ruining any progress on climate change, just desperation on all fronts. So I decided to film another one. This one should be much more peaceful and hopefully informative too. I wake up around 7.30, grab my tea, and get the vibes right. Potato lamp, fairy lights, and I light one up for the Chick-fil-A gods. I clean the wreck off my desk from the previous night and start working. I'm someone who does the fun stuff first, so I'm starting by drawing the characters for an animation that I'm working on. It's for a lay audience in Ghana to teach them about hydroxyurea, a drug that can be used to treat sickle cell disease. It will be a keyframe animation, hand-drawn in Photoshop and Blender grease pencil. I'm sorting out how I want their faces to look today. After that, I take photos of what I drew and move to the computer. I already have a very rough version of my storyboard approved by my collaborators and content expert. I'll take what I drew in my sketchbook, overlay the faces on my rough storyboard, and draw out a final, more refined storyboard. I added in one page of rough storyboard and one of the more refined storyboard so you can see the difference. I'll show the refined one to my people and incorporate any final edits before I start on production. For lunch, I fry up some fish and tots using the power of air. I warm some frozen vegetables and bring some mangoes out to defrost. Almost everything I eat is frozen unless it's tea or something my roommate cooks for me. Today I only have one class, but it's three hours long. It's called business practices. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we are still completely virtual. We usually get a 10 minute break once per hour to rest the brains and eyeballs. It is much needed because we go over so much content in this class in three hours. In this class, we learn things like copyright, contracts, how to manage yourself as a freelance artist, how to find a job, how to interview well, how to give like an elevator pitch, stuff like that. Today's class activity is to brainstorm keywords we should search when we are on the job hunt. Medical illustration is only one of many jobs we could probably do, and if that's all I searched, I'd miss out on a lot of opportunities. Class is over, and uh, I'm gonna go to the store now, get some groceries. There's so much information. On my way to the store, I'm gonna drop off an order of stickers in the mailbox, so I have to pack it up write a little handmade note, put a stamp on it, seal it with a kiss. It's just wet. We live by a fire station in Chicago, so there's always sirens in the background. I was too shy to film very well in Pete's, but they have the most incredible produce section I've seen in my entire life rows and rows of all the fruits and vegetables you could possibly want or look up on Google. My roommate is cooking up something good for dinner and I'm the best chopper in the video other than her so she definitely comes to me when she needs some garlic sliced. Get the, the, the meat. She made rice, mushrooms, Chinese cauliflower, and sausage, and it was dismicious. I'm pretty tired now, but I can't let that stop me. It's about 7, and I have to get in some research for my Modeling 3 project. I'm modeling the limbic system, and yeah, I chose that topic, so I have to figure out what the heck that even is before I model it. 
I search through a few textbooks, and my favorite way to research, watch a few videos. There are some days where all I do is read articles and textbooks and look up pictures for research. It can take a while. When I'm too tired to go on, I take a look at my schedule for the next day. Today, Friday, we turned in our first assignment in business class. I worked on my storyboards and did research on brains. Tomorrow and Sunday will be more of the same, but hopefully with more breaks. I would say that on a typical day this semester, I get up around 7.30 and go to bed around midnight. I start working pretty much as soon as I get up, since all of our classes are virtual, and all I have to do is sit down at my desk to start working. I take maybe a 40 minute break for each meal to eat, and maybe watch a show while I chow down. Sometimes I have to give my back and shoulders a break by laying down, sometimes I play games or just get distracted, but other than that, I work straight through the rest of the time. Add it up, I'd estimate I work for around 14 hours a day at my desk. It's a lot, it's bad for the bod, and it's not sustainable, but it's grad school. I can sleep when they pay me the big bucks.